Why does Firo use proof of work instead of proof of stake? So Firo uh, uses a hybrid consensus mechanism. Of course, mining is a very big part of it. And many people have actually asked why retain the mining component? I mean, why is you know, proof of work important in uh, cryptocurrency? And we have to also understand that proof of work is not just about the security. It is also about the distribution of the coins itself. So for a decentralized cryptocurrency, you don't want any sort of central entity that determines who should get the coins. And proof of work being, you know, you put in the, the, the work and then it decides who should get the coins. So it's quite fair. The more work you put in, the more chance you get coins. And these type of mechanisms have been shown to build community as opposed to proof of stake mechanisms whereby people just hold and the people that hold the coins are the ones that earn the new coins that does not actually increase your distribution as well. Now, there have been, of course, you know, uh, certain misconceptions about proof of work. The two ones being that one that is bad for the environment and the waste of electricity. And the other one being that, you know, proof of work isn't scalable, it's slow and stuff like that. So with the first one, it's quite easy to debunk. Uh, we have to actually look at the consumption of electricity in itself is not bad for the environment. Because, I mean, we talk about electric cars and everyone thinks about that it as a green technology. At the end of the day, it's not so much about the consumption of electricity, it is about where is the power source from. And mining in general has been generally shifting towards more green use, uh, you know, use green sources of energy. And I also think that in certain cases, uh, you know, the use of mining can actually spur on green developments, especially uh, where renewables, you can build a power, like in you know, a wind farm in the rural area, but may not have the capacity when you start to actually meet that demand. And mining can always kind of step in to consume and pay for that electricity. So there are studies that actually indicate that mining can actually spur on the development of renewable power sources. The second one is to the scalability of proof of work systems, where proof of stake is often seen as to be more scalable, more performant. And uh, that's not necessarily true. And I think the main reason is that proof of stake currencies are generally easier to do what we call sharding. That means kind of like break down the transactions to be processed in different uh, sections and components. And that hasn't been as easy to do on proof of work but newer developments in the space have actually been able to do sharding for proof of work cryptocurrencies. So there is, there are scaling solutions of proof of work. And I do think the hybrid consensus mechanism that we have kind of balance out the need for decentralization, the need for, you know, fair distribution of the coin together with the security benefits of, you know, uh, more proof of stake based of systems. So I hope that kind of answers that question.